What's up, man? 25 gamers. In today's offensive scheme of the week video, we're gonna be taking a look at a three-headed rushing attack out of the Indianapolis Colts playbook. Now, the the formation we like to use so that we can easily access is the pistol wide trips, and the, our base run is gonna be the read option weak. And uh, there's a reason for that, and we'll get back to that in just a moment. But what you want to do is, just like any read option, it's going to give you a read defender. You're just going to hold X to hand the ball off, but here he takes the halfback, so I'm going to keep it with Rodgers and fly high. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm going to, I, I typically I'm going to try to slide down. You can actually do that now. Uh, you can just slide uh, by tapping square or X on, P on Xbox 360. But uh, this is going to serve as an inside run and an outside run based off the way the defense is playing us. So we can easily now have a left side run inside uh, or outside. And with a quarterback like Aaron Rodgers, he's just fast enough. But you definitely want to be sliding. You don't want to be taking unnecessary hits. If it doesn't look like a good read for Aaron Rodgers, you want to hold X on PS3 or A on Xbox 360 to give the ball to Eddie Lacy up the middle. Now this is going to, again, allow us to have a good inside run from this formation where... You know, w with our audibles, we we have that now accomplished, and also really actually a pretty good left side run um, to stretch the defense to the left. Now, moving on to our next run, we're going to hit square R1. That's going to pull up the strong power. Let me audible back to it here. And we're going to run this off tackle to the right. Now, you do not hold speed bursts until you're to the edge. So follow your blocks, get to the edge. It's like a really power sweep, and it's arguably... Uh, I think it's one of the best runs of the game. It's tough to stop, guys. It really is. Um, I, I've ran it a lot online, and just people have a tough time of, of truly shutting this down. Flute could pop off like that, but if you just follow your blocks to the edge, like, this run works. Like, it's money in the bank, I feel like. So, that's one reason I, I picked the pistol wide trips over the, uh, over maybe something like the split close. But this is just a phenomenal run. And then our last run is our strong left run, halfback counter. And this is rarely called, honestly, because the read option serve is a little bit better version of the halfback counter, in my opinion. But it's just an outside power run to the left. When they're shifting, uh, you know, middle with their linebackers or something, they're playing inside. We'll call the counter and, and try to get some space. Now, you want to set your block up. So, in that si situation where the backer's out, you just want to cut back to the inside. So use the precision modifier by holding L2. And you're just going to cut to the inside and, and try to pick up some positive yardage. Situations may occur where the linebacker is on the inside, like a 4-3 stack. And this is where you're going to take it outside. And this is where the big runs are going to happen. But this is going to be a really good offense to have in your arsenal where you can force the defense to actually have to honor the run out of a three wide receiver set and in my opinion with a guy like Aaron Rodgers that's just the minimum you need to run a read option um, based running attack he's got like 80 I think it's 80 or it's either 78 or 80 speed um, so he has just enough speed to get to the edge and then get down when we need him to get down but you know you definitely <coughs> you definitely want to be careful uh, you only want to run read option in situations where the strong power is not open. So a situation where the strong power may not be open is if they're literally shifting everybody to the right. And in this situation, I mean, it still is going to be open. But, but um, like I said, you know, if they start run committing right or really heavy, heavy running, shutting down your counter, try your read option. Try your try your counter, and um, definitely, definitely, be sure to get down though in a situation where you may be getting tackled. But Aaron Rodgers is fast enough to run this offense like this and uh, you can make some actually some pretty decent cuts with him so be sure to add this three-headed rushing attack to your arsenal in combination with this one other audible we're going to talk about like I said we get four audibles so our last audible is our passing play from this and that play is the smash and we're going to run it it's pretty simple play to run we're just going to put Cobb on a smoke screen we're going to put Eddie Lacy on a swing route to the left I'm going to put Jordy Nelson on a smart routed out route. Alright. At the snap of the ball, the first read is going to be our smoke screen and two men under. We're going to hit the corner route. So, situation where the smoke screen may be open is maybe something like... It may not be able to find a play. Something like cover four. I'll just, I'll just make a cover. So, we put this purple out. 
in this situation. And now we'll see that we look to the left, the out route's covered. Okay, we'll go back to the smoke screen, and now you see it's open. And and that's kind of the, the read here. Because it gets two man under. Uh, one of the best ways to beat two man under your man 25, just like last year, is to throw smart routed out routes. Here he gets pressed, so we go right to the corner route. It's just kind of a read on those two outside breaking patterns, if they're going to be open or not. The really reason I really like this play, though, is against cover two. The curl flat concept doesn't always do the best job of beating cover two. He gets bumped. I look immediately to the right side, and Jones is almost always open on that play. And then the situation arises where they may be in cover two sink. Let's see if I can find a cover two sink. Okay. So cover two sink. That's going to take away the out route. Crap. Yep, that's going to take away the out route. But... Jones should still be open. Here we're going to pass lead him up. And you see it's going to destroy cover two sink. So that's why I really like this play. It takes away those underneath stuff. And then a situation where they may be cover zero blitzing us to stop the run. Uh, this is where this play really gets good. We can just lob it up to the tight end. And let him get big and, and make a play. I mean it's just kind of that situation where you got a guy like Jermichael Finley. And, and you can just throw it up and, and say, make a play for me, Jermichael Finley. I mean, that's kind of like what we're doing here. Cover zero, we just lob it up. You see, he just roasts the defender. So that's what this play is really good with. And it's going to force the defense to play a disciplined defense. And we're going to be beating them with the pass. And we're also going to be beating them with the runs. And this is a very difficult formation to stop. In my opinion, this is a one, one or two plays short. And that's why you want to get down at the quarterback because he'll fumble this year. But this is one or two plays short of probably one of the best formations in the game. Just because of the balance you can have left, right, middle, runs, and, and really actually pretty effective passing plays off of it. So this is what I really like about this, this formation right here is that, that strong power is just a tough run to stop. In combination with the counter and the read option and the smash, uh, you'll become un, almost un, 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 unguardable offensively. I can't talk today. Unguardable offensively. Uh, situation like that right there when you're running the counter real quick. Uh, you just want to make a quick juke. So juke him. Not like that, though. you got to square up, Letty Lacy. Come on. Let's see if we can get it again. I'll show you here. No. I don't know why he wants to make that cut. I want him to juke, like hop juke. Let's see if we can't get him to hop juke. Dang it. You may just have to uh, spin. Yep, that's what you gotta do. You gotta spin. Spin, you'll lose the guy. And when you, when you, uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna counter. He's outside. Okay, I'm just gonna spin to the outside. And it's gonna allow that blocker time to get out there. It's gonna hold that backer. It's just a quick tactic you can do. You see something like this and just spin out. Typically, you'll break it. Sometimes you won't. It's just the way the game goes. Sometimes they make a good tackle. But uh, don't want to get too complicated with this. Like I said, I would rather would run. I would rather run the read option against something like a three-four set. It just works a little better. But in a situation where they're four-three stack, something like this, four-three, this would be like a four-three stack type of look. Then I would definitely be countering for days because he just stands there, lets himself get blocked, and then you get ten yards. So that's the three-hundred rushing attack, guys. Thanks for watching today. If you have any questions or need further explanation, let me know in the comments below. For those of you who are already subscribed to the YouTube channel, show your support by sharing this video on Twitter. For those of you who are not subscribed to the YouTube channel, be sure to check out some of my other content. See if you like it. And if you like it, be uh, be uh, you can go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.